Do you know what the secret to building trust on every sales call is? It's knowing how to build rapport. Here's my seven favorite ways to build rapport, especially in B2B sales. Step one, do your homework. Always come in over prepared for a sales call. Go on LinkedIn, see if you have any mutual connections. If you do, that can be an instant rapport builder. Also check out their website, read their press releases, see if they've been on any podcasts, try to understand what their role cares about and what their pain points and their problems are from anything you can find. By doing that, you're coming in and showing the prospect that you've done your research, that you understand what they care about, and that alone can help you build massive rapport. Step two, take the lead. You wanna control the flow of the conversation. You wanna have an agenda and take control of the discussion. Remember, when prospects dominate a sales call, it will totally eliminate your perceived authority. Step three, know your industry. You wanna be an expert. You need to know your product, you need to know your service, you need to know your competition, and you need to know what's your unique selling proposition. If you do this, you show the prospect that you really understand the problem they have, and they're gonna view you as an expert. Step four, share insights. You wanna ask questions in a way that helps the prospect realize how big of a problem they have. And not just that, taking it a step further, you wanna ask questions that make them realize what's gonna happen if they don't solve this problem now. What are they gonna miss out on? Who's gonna gain an advantage over them? By sharing insights, it educates them and shows them that you're an expert. Step five, master the art of listening. Be an active listener. Learn what their issues are, why their issues, and gather all of the important details. All of this is clues that you can use to customize and tailor your sales pitch so that you have the best chance at winning the deal. Step six, bring in backup. In the world of enterprise sales, sometimes questions might go beyond your knowledge, especially if you're speaking to a CIO or a CFO or if the product's highly verticalized. It's really important that even though you might be the one leading the sales call, to have someone maybe technical or operational or financial, depending on what you're selling, as backup to answer any questions you might not be able to answer. What that's gonna do is that's gonna prevent any rapid surges of uncertainty because prospects buy when they're certain. Step seven, send a summary email. After the call, a summary email doesn't just show that you're professional. It keeps the rapport going because it shows them that you were listening, you heard what they said, and that will lead you to the next step in the sales process. Now, I put together a script that helps you guide you through this whole process that you can follow and make every sales call easier. If you want it, click the link below and get free instant access.